how to create a landing page for free with ConvertKit. So you can use ConvertKit for free up to a thousand subscribers and create unlimited landing pages. If you currently don't have a ConvertKit account, I'll leave our affiliate link down below in the description. Once you have your account created, then hop on the computer and follow along with this tutorial. So to get started, click on grow at the top of the screen and then click on landing pages and forms. From here, click on create new and then next click on landing page. As you're gonna see here, they have a bunch of different templates. You can filter by event, link, newsletter, podcast, product, etc. One of the things with ConvertKit's landing page, it's not the most customizable. If you want something where you can just create whatever you want, drag and drop, add new sections, etc., you may want to check out lead pages. We have a tutorial for that, I'll link to up above. But ConvertKit is our favorite email marketing software. And to get started for free, hey, this is a pretty solid tool. Just know that it does have a few drawbacks. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a landing page using the Archer template. I actually already have a landing page that's using this template for my personal finance content greater than enough for a cashback calculator. So we're basically going to replicate that landing page right now. So the very first thing I like to do with any landing page or form or anything else is give it a name so I can find it later. So spread sheet tutorial landing okay so i'll be able to find it later then let's go through and customize everything so the easy thing is here being i've already done it before i have the text already so i can just highlight this text i can paste what i had before the thing is right here so we have a color for the text the letter spacing font size color etc and if we go to general styles we're going to be able to update the font so if I want to change to something else. So for example, where is it at? Roboto. So we have this as well. Instead of white, you're gonna see in a second, we're gonna use the green for greater than enough, which is that number here. Don't worry, in a second, you're gonna be able to see it much better. Then what we wanna do, if we go back to general styles, let's go to the background. We're gonna get rid of this. And then we're going to upload a different image spreadsheet image drag and drop and there we go so the one thing here is to be able to read the text we probably don't want this to be quite as transparent so if we make it something like that you can see that there's this spreadsheet and numbers and things behind it but it doesn't stand out that much and you can read the text right here so i think that that works for me let's just continue to move through all the rest of the content the other thing being i just copied and pasted the color i also want it to be the button color here so why don't i copy and paste that like so that's done then what else do we have the next heading so subscribe to get the cashback credit card analysis spreadsheet and so here let's paste that like so and then we have this text here we need to update okay one of the things for me is if it's paragraph text like this or if it's like a couple of lines i usually don't like it to be centered i'd want it left aligned like so the next thing we want to do is not just get their email address but also their first name so to do that you just click the plus symbol right here and then you choose what field this is going to be so if i go to custom field select first name so we're going to collect first name and email and then usually you ask for email first so we can just drag that up above like so one of the things here it has copyright 2020 let's change that to 2023 so there's a whole bunch of things you can go through and customize so you have the heading fonts the background image the color transparency form background page background color the next thing i want to create now is the thank you page so this is the page that someone's going to see we're pitching this cashback credit card analysis and once they sign up i want to send them to a different page so to do that you just click on add page right here so this is what the thank you page is going to look like really easy to update but basically thank someone for signing up and tell them what the next steps are so greater than enough is the name of my personal finance channel if you want to check it out thank you for signing up and this may say confirm your something like that and if you were good with this let's just save it all then let's go back to the landing page so from here now let's go through all the customizations that are in settings and then we'll be ready to publish the landing page 
So the very first thing we want to do here is choose what happens after someone signs up. So we can show them this success message. We can redirect to the thank you page that we just created or redirect to an external page. Let's use the thank you page we created. Then we want to choose the domain name. So select our custom domain that we have for free with ConvertKit or even with the free plan, you can connect whatever custom domain or subdomain you would like. I haven't connected for this one. Um, cash back, let's say. And so we can add that here. And then if we go to incentive, so what the incentive is, is we have someone confirm their email and that's sent out automatically from the landing page sign up. So right here is where we write the email. And then when someone clicks on confirm, where do we want to send them to a URL or we could have them download something, for example, if you have like a guide, some type of PDF checklist. The content, so you choose who the email is gonna be sent from. Um, so we may say something like confirm your subscription. Okay, thanks for signing up. And then I could say, be that they're gonna get a Google sheet of mine. I'm gonna say make a copy of the cash back. Let's change this to our green. Okay, so this is what's going to be sent as soon as someone signs up for the landing page. They're confirming their subscription and they're going to get this spreadsheet. So the last thing to do, as I mentioned before, is where we're going to send someone. So this is that cashback calculator. So just update this link right here. Okay, I'll start with the incentive email. In advance, what you have here is what happens if someone's already signed up, show them the form, hide the form, show custom content. Also down below, the last thing you have is SEO and analytics. So you can add a title to the page, the meta description, add an image that would show up if you share this on social media, for example. Also, you have your analytics for Google, Facebook, segment, etc. Once you're set with all of that, what you want to do is click on save and then let's publish it. Let's make sure everything is saved again, then click on publish. So so we can copy this that it gives us right here, or we created a custom URL. All right, let's paste this into Chrome. And there we go. And it should also work for cash back the same page load. So you can see it also worked with the URL we created. All right, so we created and published a landing page with ConvertKit. Now, if you wanna learn how to create an automated email sequence with ConvertKit, so you can send a series of emails over time to your audience. You can even learn to sell on autopilot. I'll teach you how to do that in the video right here. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.